first glance, it looks like a lush green environment. But look a little closer and another picture begins to emerge. Because of the CO2 bubbling into these seagrass beds, the acidity level here is close to that predicted for the end of the century. Seagrass loves this environment because all that CO2 acts like a fertilizer. But Hall Spencer has conducted detailed animal surveys here and the results are troubling. We, we've actually counted every single organism we can find and found that there's a 30% reduction, a crash, in the biodiversity of the area. All the things that should be there reproducing and growing well have gone, and it's, it's, it's like comparing a desert to a rainforest. And the shelled creatures that do make their way into the vents don't last long. 